Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. Mobile police have identified the man killed in the city's 51st murder of the year. According to investigators, the victim is 38-year-old Thaddeus Williams. Police rushed to the 1300 block of Pecan Street on Wednesday to reports of shots fired. Now, once officers arrived on the scene, we're told that Williams was found dead in front of his home. Right now, no suspects, uh, suspects have been identified in this case. Now, if you know anything about the case, please contact Mobile Police. Following the 51st murder of the year, 51 local pastors gathered at Government Plaza for a call to prayer. The vigil featured both faith and community members calling for the violence in Mobile to stop by promoting peace. And they did their best to do just that. At 510, they all paused for 51 seconds of silence to remember the city's 51 homicide victims. These faith leaders know that there isn't an easy fix for these issues, but they're determined to make a difference if they can. We have talked about so many other other ways to solve our issues, but as people of faith, our foundational answer is prayer. People need to be supported, and whether you have a specific faith tradition or whether you're part of an organized denomination or a house of worship or not, you can open your heart to caring for others, and that's what we need to promote. The spiritual leaders say that they will now head back to their churches to preach those same words to their congregations. Closing arguments are scheduled today in the capital murder trial of Will Burton. He's the man accused of beating his girlfriend's two-year-old son to death in 2018. Prosecutors allege that Burton delivered powerful blows to Kai Freeman's head and abdomen while trying to potty train the child. A forensic investigator testified that Kai suffered severe injury to his abdomen, sending the toddler into shock. Burton, meantime, testified in his own defense. He denied the allegations. Defense attorney Jeff Dean says that prosecutors have not proved the charges. He said he didn't do it when he pled not guilty. He said he didn't do it when they interviewed him three years ago. And when he got on the witness stand, he said he didn't do it. And we don't think they have presented sufficient evidence to find him guilty of what he's charged with. If convicted of capital murder, Burton faces life in prison without the possibility of parole. But jurors will also be able to consider lesser charges of felony murder and reckless manslaughter. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. As we start things off looking live at our radar, things have calmed down greatly from last night when we had the widespread rain and storms around the area. And as the air got more and more humid throughout the night, we just continued to see more and more rain. The moisture levels just kept getting deeper, so the rain rates kept getting heavier, and that was sparking off potential for flash flooding last night. But thankfully, after midnight, a lot of the rain has faded out. We didn't go completely dry, as you'll see but we did start to see the showers really becoming thinner and fewer far between, and that's going to continue to be the case today. We will have rain chances possible throughout the day because of the mugginess of the air, but the coverage and the length of the rain is not going to be as widespread as it was on Thursday. We're expecting more scattered hit and miss showers until the next cold front comes in, and that's going to be tomorrow afternoon. And you can see that system already rolling through parts of Arizona and New Mexico, and it's going to send a trailing cold front through here during Saturday afternoon, and that's going to bring us the next best shot for widespread rain, but it will also bring cooler temperatures and thankfully less humid air back to the Gulf Coast. But it's going to be humid all day and this morning it's also going to be very foggy. You want to be very careful as you're heading out on the road and the roads are still very slick from all of the rain last night. And then as we head in toward this afternoon, it's going to be warm. We'll have high temperatures flirting with 80 today and there's going to be a few scattered showers mixed in. Now looking ahead tomorrow, the potential for Saturday storms will exist in the afternoon and evening on the Fox 10 future cast cloudy, a little periodic light rain as we go forward into Friday evening. We will still see a little periodic rain, but nothing like what we ended up dealing with last night. Then we get the cold front in here tomorrow afternoon. That brings us the next best shot for widespread rain and storms, and then we go cooler. Temperatures bottom out in the low 40s Sunday and Monday morning. Sunday's high in the low 60s, but the cold snap is short lived. Temperatures jump right back to the mid to low 70s beginning on Tuesday, but next week will be a lot drier than this week has, and it's going to be a lot sunnier. Plenty of sunny days will be in our future. Now we will keep you up to date on the weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.